Hello, and welcome to your video on applying for an external study abroad program. Once you have navigated to the study abroad website, you can search for study abroad programs by using this graphic at the bottom or by using the left navigational menu for program search and going straight to the external program search. This is the simple search. It allows you to search by a few key criteria. You have other search options, including a full list of programs and a more advanced search. I know I'm interested in going to Australia, so I'm going to search by country. There are lots of different options presented to me here. I've heard good things about IES abroad programs. This one in Sydney in the summer on society, sport and leadership is of particular interest to me. So I can click on the name of the program to learn more. After carefully reading the information, if this is the program I wish to apply to, all I need to do is click the apply now button near the top of the page. At this point, I'm prompted to log in. Prairie View students should use the first radio button, indicating they have a Prairie View email username and password. Non-Prairie View students should use either the second or the third radio button, depending on whether they have already created login credentials. I already have login credentials, so I will use the second radio button. I am now prompted to log in. The next decision I have to make is during which term I wish to study on this program. This program is only offered during one upcoming term, so it's an easy choice to make. This is the application page. We recommend that you begin by reading the application instructions and any announcements that are provided. After that, you can work through the application in any order you wish. The first item presented are signature documents. These are items that you need to read text and then sign indicating your agreement or understanding. All you need to do is click on the name of the one you wish to read and sign, carefully read the information, and then click the button at the bottom to sign digitally. This is a very important signature document for students applying for external programs. It indicates that not only do you need to complete the application we are looking at now, but you are also required to submit an application directly on the website of the provider of the program you are working on. I have applied for an IES abroad program. By signing this document, I am indicating I understand that I must also go to the IES Abroad website and begin an application there as well. When I have signed the document, I will receive a check mark indicating that this item has been received. You can work your way through all of the presented items until you have all of the check marks. The next thing I need to do is request a recommendation from a faculty or staff member who knows me well. Just click here to request the electronic recommendation. I am going to search for Marcus King in the international office. I just select the correct user. Here I can list any courses that I have taken with this professor, if any. If not, this can be skipped and then write a note to my recommender. The last piece is to either waive your right to read this recommendation or not. Once I click save, my recommender will receive an email indicating that he needs to fill out the recommendation form. When he has completed the recommendation, this will show up as received on my application page here. The next item is questionnaires. Once again, you can work through these in any order you wish. I'm going to do the study abroad application questionnaire. Here, all you need to do is answer all of the questions that have been presented, making sure that you're reading all of the instructions or additional details that are provided for each one. As you work through the questionnaire, if at any time you wish to stop and come back later, you can click the save button at the bottom of the page to save the work you've done. When you have completed the questionnaire and are ready to move on to the next one, you can click the submit button to submit this questionnaire. 
Once again, you should work your way through all of the questionnaires until you have all of the check marks received. The last section is learning content. Learning content is important information that the study abroad office wishes for you to read and acknowledge that you've read. The first item as an example is information from the Centers for Disease Control about travel abroad. Please read the information presented carefully, including clicking on any links. And when you have completed reading it, mark the item as having been read. When you have completed the entire application and you have all of the check marks with no empty boxes remaining, then you may click the button at the top of the page to submit your application. You will receive a confirmation message when you have successfully submitted the application. Your application cannot be reviewed until you have clicked the submit application button at the top of the page. Thank you for watching the video on applying for an external program.